Hey everyone, how's it going? BCM here. So I'm in my uh, the BIOS of my computer. Here you can see my uh, speed. I'm a 4.4 gigahertz DDR speeds of 3000. There's the um, voltage and everything, and then my uh, my temps, of course, there 25 and 35 on the core and motherboard temperature. So I'm gonna I'm turn off Overclock Genie and I'll leave XMP turned off. Go to Overclock. Let me see if I can overclock this to 4.8 um, gigahertz. So CP ratio, I'm gonna change that to, oh here I have to, um, yeah, let's go to an expert. Although I don't think that really matters, but I'm gonna change that to 48. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave the voltage on. I'm just gonna leave voltage on auto and leave the, uh, I'm gonna disable that, the ESIT thingy. Um, enhanced turbo, I'm gonna leave disabled. I'm gonna leave my um, XMP disabled. And I'm going to leave the voltage on auto. If anybody knows what, maybe I could set that to to get a 4.8 gigahertz, um, a safe clock with the um, 8700K. Let me know. But for now, I'm just going to leave that on um, auto. We'll save and change as a reboot. It's going to tell me that. Well, you know what? I didn't check was my hair. I didn't check my. Uh, let me check my fan curves. I, I'm curious to see. Okay, so I just have my CPU and pump fan. So my, my case fans then are not, uh, my case fans, even though I have them um, um, daisy chained to the CPU and the pump um, connector, I, I don't have um, CPU fans, so that's fine. Um, those are my case fans. The other five are just gonna run normal speed and that's okay. Let's go ahead and um, it changes and reboot and let's see well, let's uh log in here and i'm going to use um i'm going to use msi center i'll probably use core temp as well like msi center i i had iq a software for the uh, the corsair cooler but i can't use iq anymore so i can use that one it's loading the modules and i can also load core temp it's running pretty quiet right now. Can't really hear nothing, so. So what do we got? Wow, 26 degrees Celsius, really? CPU fans only 13%? Let's see, what do we got over here for my... Oh. Now, I mean, if that is, is in fact true that it's um running it... Oh, wait, what's, what's my voltage? Hang on, sorry, I got to open this again. Let's see what my voltage went up to at, with it on uh, auto. I didn't even look at that. So it's running on, what's, what is it running? Oh, 1.240. Okay, it's not hitting too bad. So so let's open up, um, let's open up a game. And let me put on, uh, let's open up Afterburner. <clears throat> And put on a game. And for the heck of it, uh, I think what the most demanding game I've got installed on here is, I would say Resident Evil 4. Right, so I got Resident Evil 4, the start screen on here, and actually, that's actually not too bad. 7270 at uh, 100% CPU, almost 100% uh, usage on the... Uh, GPU, so 73, 68, 70, that's not actually bad for 4.8 gigahertz. And the um, system's pretty quiet too. All the way ramping up, so that's, uh, wow. I think I'm actually going to uh, leave it running like this, but again, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm not sure if I need to enable XMP on the memory or not, or if I should just leave it, leave it like it is so it doesn't mess up the, uh, the overclock. Whoa, what the heck? Okay. What's well, it gonna whoa boy look at whoa boy my frames per my frames per second went down a lot. What that has anything to do with the uh does anything to do with the uh, memory not being um good, but I don't maybe. Maybe maybe not. With the memory not being XMP Oh boy, look at that. Okay. Um okay. That really dropped my frames. So, so yeah, so 
I would drop the frames for a second. So something's going on. There might be the memory. So I might, may, I might uh, enable XMP and um, see what my temps are after that. But anyway, I'm, I'm pretty happy that uh, it's not really even reaching uh, 70 degrees at 4.8 gigahertz. So I uh, didn't think I'd be able to do that. It looks like I'll probably be safe to uh, run it at uh, 4.8 gigahertz. Again, I, I'll have to like do Cinebench or uh, um, stress test it maybe to see how far it can go. But if I'm just playing regular games, then I like this one, then I think I'll be fine with it at 4.8 gigahertz. So that's going to do it for now, everyone. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you soon.